hello guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel so uh, in this channel I show you multiple after effect videos uh, so here in this today's tutorial what I'm gonna show you uh, how you can make uh, a circle burst in, inside after effects and you can create an amazing uh, composition with multiple circle bursts so uh, without uh, delay let's straight jump into the composition all right so after coming to after effects let's create a new composition which will be our main composition so let's name the composition name is main comp and the width and the height is 920 by 1080 uh, and uh, the duration is 10 seconds and hit ok so after hitting ok what you need to do here is here you can see the background color of my composition is quite reddish uh, and let's create another composition and um, in which we will be creating our circle so let's name the circle composition name is circle comp and the width height is same and hit ok Let's change the background color of the composition is uh, black because uh, our main goal is to make a circle into this composition. So after that, after that, uh, let's go to the circle composition and uh, we have to create a circle burst into it. Uh, so to create a circle burst into it, what we need to do here is pretty simple thing. Let's uh, first uh, change the background. So let's go to the effect and preset channel and go. Uh, la let's search for gradient ramp. So uh, here you can see I have already gotten the gradient ramp effects and let's mm, uh, let's apply this gradient ramp effect into the uh, composition. So before that we have to uh, take a new solid which will uh, which will be our background. So after that let's apply the gradient ramp effect into my background and and let's now change the colors. So mm, the start color uh, uh, would be like reddish or pinkish whatever you like so I like red so I'll use red over here or maybe green or whatever color you like because uh, this is it is totally up to your preference uh, so this sky blue color is looking pretty good so after that let's change the end color and let's uh, make it a bit uh, more valish violet uh, what do you think violet looks good or blue or green whatever color you pick is totally fine so uh, let's select a pink color the pink gradient in the bottom part and uh, you can swap the colors uh, if you want to do multiple things you can change the ramp shape or you can change the ramp scatter which will uh, scatter the ramp or you can blend with original if you like so there's multiple uh, options here so after changing the color uh, what we need to do here is uh, let's uh, create a circle so select the pen behind pen tool and uh, hold shift and create a straight line so after that what after selecting the pen um, after creating a straight line into the composition uh, let's add an effect which is a repeater so after uh, selecting repeaters from the add panel what we need to do here is here you can see there's three straight lines have been happening so uh, let's go to the transform panel of the repeater and let's uh, let's change the position uh, to zero so it will uh, take all the um, repeated lines into one line and then we can use the rotation panel and it will uh, rotate the panel uh, let's change the anchor point a little bit so that uh, it uh, goes perfectly over it so after changing the anchor point over here what we can do over here is a pretty simple thing so uh, let's uh, create more copies uh, you can create multiple copies as much as you like you can see here you can see I can make hundred copies thousand copies as much as I want but uh, my goal is not to make much more copies because it will not look mm, more pleasant over here so let's uh, increase the anchor point uh, so that all the um, straight line can be uh, positioned properly so after changing the anchor point what we can do over here right now is uh, so you can add more effects so go to the ads and let's uh, add another effect which is uh, trim paths so this is another a very popular effect which you can use on text or straight line effects so let's go to the trim path and you can use that uh, start and end button uh, so we will use we'll be using animation into the trim path panel uh, so here you can see let's um, reduce the end to the zero person and let's uh, hit the stopwatch on the start button so after hitting the start button uh, let's take it uh, to the 1.15 second uh, and then let's make it 100 percent 
uh, so that uh, it, uh, uh, we can make an animation out of it. Uh, so after uh, uh, changing the keyframe animation, here you can see it looks uh, pretty good uh, over here. Uh, let's go to the end and uh, hit the stopwatch button and um, let's go a bit more frame and uh, we'll advance for it and now you can see it looks uh, more pretty cool uh, now you can see uh, it's more static right now so to change the staticness uh, and to make it more natural uh, we can do uh, a lot of things so let's first uh, reposition the keyframes so after changing uh, after selecting all the uh, panels uh, let's uh, make them easy ease in uh, or you can hit f9 or you can go by right clicking your mouse uh, you can do it both so after making them uh, look more pretty cool and amazing now we, what we can do here is we can make them uh, m uh, we can uh, make them a little bit closer so that it doesn't look more slow because uh, now it looks pretty cool it, it, it burst the circle burst into animation and let's uh, reduce the timeline because it, it is easy for us to check uh, the animation or motion we're trying to implement into a composition so after uh, creating this um, pretty basic and fundamental composition what now we can do is here is so after you, as we have used here two animation which is trim paths and repeater so uh, this both things are very common in terms of using in the effects panel and let's uh, yeah. Uh, go to the transform part and let's uh, take the position panel in just right in the middle so that uh, we can make them uh, look more natural and like make them look more pretty and cool so after that uh, what we can do over here is uh, you can see the circle burst is just right in the middle so after uh, putting it in the right in the middle what now what will we do is uh, we'll create multiple copies of it so before uh, creating multiple copies of, of it um, let's go to the uh, pan behind tool and let's make the center point just right in the middle so hit control and uh, click uh, double click on the pan behind tool so that uh, the center point will be just right into the circle uh, so it's a pretty important part uh, if you miss this step what will happen the anchor point will be right down here and there so uh, let's go to the bottom part and now what we need to do here is um, what we can do is go to the circle comp and go uh, after going to the circle comp what we can do over here is uh, the background looks pretty cool so uh, so, we, so we imported uh, the circle comp into the main composition uh, after uh, the circle comp is looking pretty cool so uh, now what will you do is uh, we'll create multiple copies of it so uh, to create multiple copies of it what you need to do is control D so let's uh, first uh, uh, take it uh, the, to the position just right in the middle so uh, it's pretty obvious uh, to this part uh, enjoy this part so that we can make it more uh, natural right So after we created this, um, a lot of circle burst into a composition. So uh, now here now you can see uh, it's been happening. Uh, all the circles are bursting in one place. So uh, after that, what we can do is uh, we go to the fill part and let's change the color of each uh, circle so that uh, it will look more pleasant and more pretty. So uh, after changing the colors uh, into multiple colors, which we'll be using into uh, so many things, let's make it red. We can make it white, uh, you can make it blue, or whatever color you like. Let's uh, apply fill into all the circle burst composition and uh, we'll make it pretty cool, pretty amazing, so that uh, we can uh, make it look more pleasant. So let's do it.
now you can see all the circles are in different colors uh, it's totally up to your preference which uh, circle you want to color which color uh, it's totally up to you you can change it to your color as much as you like so uh, that's basically our main composition what we'll be using so uh, let's uh, reduce minimize all the circle composition so that uh, it doesn't look um, messy because here you can see I have all the circle composition into one place and they're looking kind of messy they're not looking quite organized uh, remember guys when you are trying to uh, work in a bigger project in After Effects uh, you must be organized right so now let's uh, create a staircase, a staircase effect so that um, we can make it look more uh, fabulous and more professional because uh, see guys animation is an art you know so uh here you will you will use your creativity the more you use your creativity the more creative and the more amazing animation you could make over here so the staircase effect is one of the effects i have learned uh, in my uh, early days when i was learning my after effects so uh, it's a very pretty pretty basic uh, effects all the industry professionals use this effect so uh, so uh, when they're using uh, multiple items of the same fundam same item so when they're using the same item multiple times so they use this <coughs> multiple effects so uh, uh, as we're making this circus effect into this panel so uh, it's total up to you can use uh, other compositions uh, other uh, panels there's other diamond shapes uh, there's pyramid shapes uh, pyramid shape is one of my favorite which I use in my other motion panels so remember guys it's totally up to your creativity motion animation or art is it's all a form of art so whatever you like whatever your um, inspiration is uh, be inspired and work on your creativity creativity is a very important part let's reduce the timeline part and now you can see uh, all the circles are bursting uh, pretty quickly pretty amazingly so that's uh, more or less our main composition as we've made it over here um, if uh, more or less if you can try others you can m use your creativity and you make multiple images multiple circle bursts or other rotational um, concepts if you like um, so that's been it guys uh, thanks for watching uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bro take care